Hey guys, it's Rob back with another movie review. Wanted to talk about um, this film being that Arnold Schwarzenegger is coming out with a movie called Sabotage actually tomorrow, uh, Friday. Today's Thursday. Um, I wanted to review this, The Last Stand. This is a film that I really like. Uh, this was his sort of say comeback film where he actually has a starring role as the sheriff of this little town. And this film, like, you know, in, in parts of this, I thought he was a little clunky. But he was just coming back, and I really, I like this film better than Bullet to the Head. And I love it. I, I like it way better than Escape Plan. Way better. This is not really a bad film. There are some intense situations in here. Um, it is kind of a little slow in some parts, but basically he's a sheriff of this little town, and there's this, um, I want to say like, um, well, there's this drug cartel with this guy who is, vi who is like the leader. Uh, he, he's supposed to be like one of the most wanted guys on this drug cartel, and he, he escapes the hands of the police. And he's on the run in this really fast car. I mean, this souped up motherfucker that can go like 200 miles an hour. I mean, this sucker, that's one thing I loved about this film too, was was the sound. You have to have great sound in this. Because the sound of the car revving his engine and, and fucking the car chasing and stuff were just amazing. Really love that. But um, this guy's in this fast car when he's escaping the police and he wants to make it over the border. So he can't get over the border. So what he ha he has his his gang or his team build a bridge to get across the border. And this bridge they're building is near the town, his town. So in order to get across the bridge, they have to go through his town. Well, Arnold gets notified that this this is happening, and they make a stand. They make a standoff at the town to make sure that they're not going to make it through. And Johnny Knoxville is in it. Um, you know, you got certain situations um, in this film where, I mean, there's some great gun battles. Uh, there's this part that's kind of, it's crazy because you think in that situation you, you, you're you going to die by these military guys. Like, these guys are really, the, you know, this drug cartel leader, his crew that he hangs out with or that, that are with him, they are very, very well trained in, like, um, you know, shooting guns and stuff like they're they're like military experts. There's a scene where I think it's Arnold's deputy, one of the deputies, and then there's a rookie cop are at a standoff in the dark, and there's like a whole bunch of the drug cartel guys, and they're at, at a standoff with just two cops hiding behind the cars, and all of a sudden the lights go out and they start to put their night vision on. So they can see them. Like, they're always a step ahead. Like, they have the best artillery. And then Arnold comes barging in with his car, and he has a shotgun. He busts out the window with his elbow, and he starts shooting people with a shotgun. It's amazing. I mean, that was fantastic. Johnny Knoxville wasn't in here that much. But he was funny. He was the comedy relief, pretty much. But the end, the end scene was full of gunfights, fights, um car chases. Arnold gets in, I don't know if it was a Mustang or a Camaro, but he gets in this car and he, he drives against the guy in that fast car. They're going through the cornfield. Then he fucking has a, a fight on a, on the bridge with this cartel leader. Like an actual fight. Wrestling and shit. Like Arnold picks this guy up and slams him down and shit, and they're sitting there fighting. This movie has everything. Fighting, car chases, gun battles, just action. I mean, that's what you can ask for. This is, that's, that's who he is. Arnold Schwarzenegger, action. That's what it is. You Google action, you'll get Arnold Schwarzenegger. And Sylvester Stallone, but Stallone, I'm sorry. His movies that he's making now are just, they're not, they're very, very forgettable. They're very forgettable. And I just, uh, it's a shame. It really is. Because Arnold, I think he is just, he's awesome. And this movie is great. That's basically the plot that I just told you. Um, Forrest Whitaker's in this. And 
he's behind the intelligence, like he he's keeping track of this drug cartel leader and stuff. Part of like the FBI. Um, it's it's just it's a fun movie. I mean, I really had fun. I saw I saw this in the movie theater, and um, it just sounded interesting. And and there are a lot of people. A lot of people see this and they're like, well, Arnold's just too old. Well, they reference that in this film. I mean, they reference that. He even says it. He's like, how are you feeling, Sheriff? He's like, old. I mean, these guys aren't immortal. They're aging. And it's understandable. But they, you don't need, you don't need them to be young to be able to get in a fist fight or a gun battle or a car chase scene. You don't need to have a 20-year-old. You know, it's, it's, they can do it. They can still do their thing. That's who they are. So, I mean, I think this movie was well done. And, um, I think peop a lot of people shit on this and unnecessarily. Because I, I just think, I think it was a good comeback film. I mean, for a comeback film, you know? I mean, it doesn't have to be really spectacular. Just something action-packed. So, I don't know. I enjoyed it. Last Stand. Have you seen it? What do you think of Last Stand? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Comment down below. Let me know. Um, I will be going to see Sabotage. Hopefully that movie's good. I think it's from the director of, of uh, Training Day. I think. And I like that film. But um, anyway, stay tuned. Um, upcoming movie series. I'm going to be doing a lot of those. Uh... One by one movie reviews, also some more video game plays and stuff, so um, stay tuned. And uh, this is Rob signing off, I'll see you guys next time.